Hello and welcome to some USF 2000 here at Road America. Um, not the biggest, not the highest participation rate in this series as usual. So, um, I think this is probably a pretty low strength of field, but uh, I'm going to be right at home. Because <laughs> I don't have this uh, place all that figured out yet. Uh, this is actually my second attempt here. And uh, nothing went wrong the first time. I just wanted an... Oops, sorry, I think I brushed the mic there. Um, I'm adjusting my volume here. There we go. It's a little better, it's a little quiet. Um, nothing went wrong. I just uh, wanted one race to uh, focus on breaking points and things first. Because uh, I'm still not very good at this track. Still haven't done it all too many times. And so I felt like I needed to... Uh, needed to focus one time, not worry about commentary. Usually the commentary is not too distracting to me because I'm kind of just letting it flow. But, uh... But I just didn't want to mess myself up. And, uh... I don't even remember where I got, to be honest with you. I think it was third. Yes, okay, so what happened in that race is I, uh... I was decently fast, but the guy in third, because I started fourth, I think, or something like that, and the guy in third was making a lot of mistakes in front of me, and then would get the draft past me again on a straightaway, and then start making mistakes in front of me again, and then the first two people just drove away. So I didn't really have a shot at them anymore. But uh, I'm not sure if I did anyway, the first two guys were really fast, and I ended up finishing ahead of the other guy. Finally, was able to pull away from him at some point. Crash it on that lap. Oh, off track. Boo. Green flag, green flag. Come to the, the first okay, qualifying lap here. As the spotter will tell you. So. Not the fastest here yet. But always fun in this car. And uh, we'll see what we can do, I guess. Got all time optimal up because uh, I have a lot of speed to gain. And so I'm, I'm kind of more interested in seeing, like, hey, can I put together an optimal lap here? Because uh, even my optimal's not too fantastic, so. be comparing to that. Didn't shift in the second one I wanted it to there. Kind of messed me up. Still kind of getting the shifting down in this car. Sometimes it doesn't shift down when I want it to. And uh, I definitely could be more aggressive with this car. It turns better than you give. I give it credit for. And I think that means that I'm leaving some speed on the table all the time. Just not brave enough. But, uh, not going in over my head means I'm less likely to crash, too, so... You're not going too fast if you're in a smoking heap on the side of the road, either. Ooh, went wide. It wasn't turning. I didn't slow down enough. Yeah, not a great lap here so far, and I don't think it's going to magically improve in the final corner either. Yeah, just a little awkward. Still going uphill, waiting a little longer on the shift there. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's my logic. So 211, 760 is not good, <laughs> but it's something. I think we can do better here as long as I don't mess it up. They get a good run off. Since we got a long straightaway ahead.
And crucial breaking zone here. Okay, pretty good. It gets real light at the top of that hill there. So you gotta be really careful. Ugh, I don't know why I messed that up. Should be able to flat foot that, but I messed it up. Messing up the shifting again. Hurting me. Alright, so right now we're about a half second off of the uh, the optimal. Put us at about a 210.5. It's about a second improvement. Still just feeling pretty awkward. Alright, well, still not too great, but this will be a better lap, it looks like. We're not like running out of time, are we, no? Okay, so what we got? 210.8. Hey, that'll put us on the pole for now. Lots of people probably still finishing their second lap, though. See how hard I can push it through there. Now the qualifying's done, and... Much. You just gotta find the balance. I gotta find the balance. How hard I can push. What's too much. What's maybe not enough. And I can find out how to get these better laps. But I'm content with the the two ten eight. It's not too bad at all. Right there. Big thing in this car is uh, don't be braking and turning at the same time. It's generally what I've learned. It's it will like break loose on you. I just I can't get that quite. Maybe I want to be in third gear there. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong with that corner. But uh, looks like we got beat out for pole, so we will be starting second. That's fine with me. And, uh, man, it looks like we'll be okay. We're about second faster than the guy in third, of course. You know, those are just qualifying laps, so it could have just been that they missed their mark there. Let's see if we can keep up with this, too. Maybe they can pull us along for a while. Hopefully we'll have ourselves a good, clean race. One left to green. Line up on and hopefully we'll have ourselves a good, close. clean pace lap. Because, <laughs> you know, road series and their pace laps... And unfortunately, here at Road America, you don't get uh, you don't get to start like halfway through the lap or anything. You have to uh, do the whole thing. So we'll be here for a minute, a minute or two or three, as we do our one to green. But it'll give us a chance to uh, drag the brakes a little bit to heat up the uh, the brakes a little bit, bring them up to temp. From what I understand, I'm still pretty uh, uninformed when it comes to that sort of thing, but from what I understand, from listening to Nick Neben's explanations, that sort of thing, getting the squeak out of the tires, or not out of the tires, but out of the brakes, getting that squeak out of them, getting them up to temp helps them perform better. In some cars, I don't know if that's something that happens in all cars, but I figure improves the performance most likely so I want to try to do a little bit of that and uh, doing the swerving and stuff to heat the surface temps of the tires has a very small effect and honestly I don't think it's worth it swerving around and uh, running the chance running into someone so we'll be P2 we'll be watching this guy on our 
outside there. I guess outside is relative. I'm thinking like an oval racer as usual. <laughs> but uh, the guy on our right, that's what I'm trying to say. We'll just get a jump from like here. And that's squeaking. Trying to get rid of that. Alright. Sounds like we got them no longer squeaky. No more mice in the brakes. <laughs> so, that's all taken care of. And uh, we're not going to do the start and stop thing and risk someone running into the back of us like this two car is doing. He's doing a start and stop. I think that is a heat the tire thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't trust people not to run in the back of me, so I'm just going to hit a consistent pace. I'm going to be starting in second gear, it looks like. I think no matter what, first gear is going to be too short. Hopefully he's not one of those guys that does one of the cheap, like, slow down before the starts, which is not legal, according to the sporting code, but people do it anyway. Especially in road racing pace laps, because I guess they don't know better or something. Take a couple of these corners a little faster, maybe get some heat in the tires, but... Not gonna matter too much. Tires will be feeling okay by probably lap two anyway. Just gonna have, try to remember to go a little easier on the first couple of laps. Probably just follow in the draft of the two. It seems he's probably gonna be faster than us. So we'll just keep up with him if we can. With the help of the draft. Maybe he'll pull us along. Hopefully we'll break away from the guys behind. Despite them getting some draft. Being a second faster in qualifying gives me hope that we'll be able to get away, but last thing I want is to is for the same thing to happen to me that happened in my last race here that I didn't record where someone very much slower just starts battling us and slowing us down and then watching the leaders go away as we keep having to fight which is a pretty frustrating thing to deal with so if we're gonna be fighting I, I at least would hope it's for the lead but even then I, I would prefer not to fight the leader if we can avoid it until it gets later in the race, so maybe we can get some distance between guys and all that, so. Alright, coming near the end of the lap here, after our tour of the track. In case you were wondering what the track looks like, <laughs> now you get the slow version. Taking the sights as we finish our voyage through the forest there. And finally, coming to the final corner. Hopefully we'll get a good jump here. Get ready, going green. Get ready, my car is off. Slow down, do your job. clown. <laughs> uh, all right, not too bad. We actually got a fantastic jump. Green, green, green. Deep road, right, open. Open. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Don't want to be side by side here right now, but. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. All right. So, I get the impression this 11 is probably not going to be patient, and he's probably going to try to fly by us here. One's going to, or the two's going to take the defensive line. Okay. I'm saying one because I'm assuming he's faster than me, so that's why in my head he's the one. But... Left side. <sighs> we almost get wrecked. Clear on the left. And then he almost wrecks the two. Let me survive lap one here. 
Eleven's gonna be a problem, I can already tell by the way they're driving. They strike me as capable of being fast, but not having great success with side-by-side -side racing and racing with others. But of course, limited experience here, so maybe I'm wrong. That's the initial impression I'm getting as to why they might be the 11. All right. Clear on the right. Kind of dodo inside, but. Sitting in the middle of the track, so Keep to the right. Kind of had to make a move around him, but he's getting a little bit of draft, so now he's going to be side by side. Bias, he's going to kill us. The next car's the leader. Clear. Now he backs out early, I guess. Actually, I kind of dove in deep, to be fair. Right side. Speaking of diving in deep, he's going to kill us. To oh my god. See, this is exactly what happened to me the last race. Now that one car's going to drive off because no one can't be pa no one can be patient. So here goes this guy now. Oh boy, now these guys are going to fight. And we're going to lose the leader. That's what happens way too often here. Stuck behind slow guys, as usual. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh. I don't know what to do here. I, I really would prefer not to watch the leader just drive away, but I'm not sure we have much of a choice. Whatsoever. Clear on the right. <sighs> what, like, what am I supposed to do about this? Oh, Gary. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. Two is actually a little slow at some point, apparently, because the eleven caught up a little bit. All right, we'll just uh, we'll stay calm. There's a lot of race to go. A lap car out there being a little scary. He about took me out there. Jesus. <sighs> He's giving me no room. Got a lap car wrecking in front of us. I just, I have to slow down for these guys because they just, they battle back if I try to pass them. Even though I, I know that I'm faster. So frustrating. Might be something I I'm not doing right. I don't I don't know. Ooh, lots of arrow there. Normally you can take that flat out, but made the car pretty tight there. Oh. 
Whoa! That scared me. I thought I was gonna have to dodge left. That almost made me mess up the corner. Did we actually hit? Car on your left. Clear. Oh, that good. Incident 10. Turn 14. We think it might be BT. The leader has just done a 211.1. Your front wing is damaged. Your rear Sorry, wing is damaged. I messed up. Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. The car <sighs> has just done a 210.5. Engage limiter. You've got plenty of fuel. Let's repair. Pit box team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Okay, Colton. All clear, punch it. Fuel is fine. The car behind's pitting now. You're all clear. Stay behind the line. Well, I stink. That's pretty much all there is to that. It just snapped on me. Ah. Oh. Big P6 has binned it in. Turn eight. I'm not sure what happened there. You're bringing this car in. The gaps now. Well, we'll see what we can salvage. I guess I just got on the throttle too hard, started getting sideways, and then these open wheel cars are just so hard to catch once you get sideways. It's not like a stock car. That's a new fastest lap for Edwards, 210.4. Told you I didn't have this place figured out yet. It looks like Gerard. Maybe it was the banking? I guess I got up on the banking maybe and it got the car unsettled? Might have been what it was too. Or not the banking, but like the curb on the left side there. Hmm. So we're P8 after the mistake. Feel bad because I wasn't the only one caught in it. Someone else got hurt because of me too. So that stinks. Pretty slow through turn one. Might catch this number nine up here. It's like we're pretty, f pretty well faster than they are, but I gotta not crash myself again. Who's not shifting to second again? I don't know, that's such an awkward corner. Because so I want to shift to second, but like I'm not quite going slow enough, so maybe maybe I don't want to shift to second, but third feels like it's too too bogged down. I don't know. Kind of like awkward in awkwardly in between whether I want second or third gear.
it's uh, not my track. I think it's fair for everyone to have their good tracks and maybe not so good tracks. It's probably one of my not so good ones, I guess. <laughs> That's not the first time I've wrecked here either. Probably not too much time left in this deal. A couple minutes, yeah, I think they'll be coming to white flag here. There's an incident in Thunder Valley. Looks like it's BT. The back is uh, having more issues or something. Check to see if the, uh, the crew chief was telling me about someone ahead of me, but they weren't. There's an incident in turn seven. It looks like Gerard. Gerard's the lap car, with the number six. Having issues again, so at least I haven't wrecked multiple times yet. <laughs> anyway. So I'm not having the worst race out here, but it's not a good one. Left two minutes to go. Third gear, what I want here. Look, it just feels so bogged down. There's an incident in the carousel. You think it might be Gerard? There's a piece of a car right there. It's not a good sign. Go left. There he is. Oh boy, that's not looking too good there. So this would probably be white flag, if I had to guess. White flag, one more right. to go. All right, let's see if we can catch this nine, but we're not gonna wreck ourselves or him doing it, because, well, white first of all, it's for seventh place, and second of all, I've already caused problems this race. I don't need to be causing any more problems, so. Oh, man, dude, dude. Oh, no, guys, I had a crash. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, two guys crashed each other, so that's two more spots. Wow. We might still get a top five out of this, potentially, if I can catch this guy ahead. Had a bad uh, corner there, though, a second ago. Getting about two tenths in that corner. I wonder if he's panicking seeing me coming up on him. It's like, oh god, oh god, oh god. It just wasn't slowing down enough for this corner. Okay, Colton, push now. That was Cash better. Let me get some arrow here through the carousel. The carousel. Oh, <laughs> Air. Oh, arrow. Uh -huh. Just push me off the track, Still my there. friend. Clear on the left. Yeah, I guess he just backs out. Good pass. Now keep pushing. I guess he knew I was faster, maybe. Weird to like pinch me first and then back out. Interesting decision there, but we not wreck out of this corner again. And uh, we'll, we'll see where we ended up. I think we ended up fifth after two people wrecked. Let's see here. Are yep, fifth. Okay. Wow. There's the flag. It's over. So <laughs> salvaged after my mistake. Good job. Very good job. Halfway decent finish. Now that just tells me I could have gotten. 
Well, round third, maybe. Who knows? I mean, I can say I could have all day long, but what happened is I didn't because I made a mistake. So I got what I deserved, is what I did. And lost some spots, so. Alright. At least we uh, pulled off the top five still. And uh, we'll see what happened out here, including what happened to me, what I did to myself, and see what those guys did to crash on their final lap as well. All the good stuff. So this guy self-spends. It's off the track. I've spun out in this corner before, so can't really blame this guy for that one. This place is tough on me. Here's the six. I know they had their fair share of trouble this race. Lap one still. Ooh, that was really close. Ooh. He might have been a lap car when he wrecked the guy up front. No, because he was ahead of us, wasn't he? I'm not sure. Ooh, a little bit of grass there. It's so easy to crash these things, man. I've seen a lot of it. They just spin on you. If you hit the wrong pebble. <laughs> or enter, like, a quarter of a kilometer too quickly. Kilometer per hour. I don't know why I use the metric system all of a sudden. I don't know. There was me <laughs> back there almost crashing myself because I was concerned about what I was seeing ahead of me. See, I thought he was going to spin out to the inside. And so I was, I had, I like remaneuvered to the left. I'm like, oh God, now I'm going to go off track. Thankfully it worked out, but so much for that. Cause, oh yeah. Okay. Wow. I was out wider than I thought I was. I got the grass. That's why I spun. You know what it was? I thought that was all paved right there. That's not paved on the far left. That's dirt, isn't it? It just looks like it's paved, but it stops being paved right there. I never really even looked at that. So I thought I had room to be off track there, and I didn't. Ooh, I did a poor job of locking it down, didn't I? I tried to save it. That was ugly. That's embarrassing. Oh. He was already off, and then... What am I doing? I would be mad at myself. I would be mad at someone that drove it like that. I tried to save it and then didn't, and then failed to lock it down. I don't know what I was thinking. Huh. It's embarrassing. Don't be like me. That's gonna bother me a lot. I should have been. Once I did this and then, you know, okay, I failed to I failed to save it. Now I should be all the way down on the brakes. I think my thought was I don't think I realized people were right behind me. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Not thinking at all, probably. Being a clown. It's embarrassing. At least we're right by the pits, so we could get fixed real, real quick. But that's amateurish, and I should be ashamed. Gotta spin out. Oh no! That was from second place. Is this where something happens? No? I think it's later in the race where the other guy, where that guy or someone else has trouble. That guy does the same thing I did, but spins it to the inside, doesn't try to save it and overcorrect. That's probably my stock car brain, <laughs> trying to save a car, and you can't really save these cars, really. Not 
not consistent enough. You probably just gotta spin it to the inside like that and get off the track. Six having more issues. Just gets a tiny bit of grass again. Yikes. Rough one. Oh, and here's gonna be where they have the issue. Oh my gosh. He just was not paying attention on the left there. This guy's a lap down. He shouldn't even be fighting these guys, I don't like. Maybe not. Maybe they're... Yeah, they might be all in the same lap at this time. And it's just not updated right here. Because they're trading positions and stuff. Hmm. But uh, the guy on the left just... He's thinking about passing this guy. Just not clear. <laughs> just KOs both of them. Himself and uh, the other guy, I mean... Some more spinning out. Some more troubles for the six. And it looks like that's it. So I'm feeling pretty embarrassed uh, about not locking it down. Like spinning's one thing, but um, I didn't lock it down how I was supposed to. And then unfortunately, got the other guy. He had his own troubles elsewhere as well. But uh, I might have set set off a series of unfortunate events for him, so I feel pretty bad about that. And uh, I definitely could have done better. But uh, I'll keep trying to learn this place. Clearly, I, I still got some stuff to figure out at all Road America. But, uh, you know, another step of the way there. Try to learn a little bit more. And uh, now I will be a little bit more careful at the final corner now. That's what I'm going to take away from this one. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, despite my mistake. And I uh, will see you next time.